Number one, guys, as you see, load shedding is a pandemic. You know, we are dealing with the pandemic of load shedding. So I'm sorry that the first initial lie that I started, it just completely cut off like breaking transmission. It's not my fault. It's load shedding. As I was saying, Sikhle CBC was trending yet again. Yay, guys. Sikhle CBC, I myself was trending yet again today. But I am thankful that finally the world knows that I was never an intruder. Like, finally. Because I just got so tired. Uguti. But anyways, that's not why I'm here. So, I trained today, and mostly it's women who are saying the most vile things, commenting the most vile things. Abanyabati, guys, let's hold Kwanele Foundation accountable and Sikhe accountable as a GBVF organization. Why would Sikhe date a married man? Because in as much as she says she was subjected to emotional abuse, she did the same thing to the wife of the king. So she must be held accountable because Osiche is a perpetrator. And I sit back and I say, hey, but home, guys, take time to educate yourself. Number one, royal houses in Africa, polygamy is the thing and it's allowed. Number two, the king does not only have one wife, or if he does have one legal wife, he's got many mistresses or different mistresses, if I may say, girlfriends. So it's completely different. I didn't just go into the royal house and gishelele mina, no. Mm -mm. Guys, whether you call CKCBC names, or slander me, or whatever you want to do, especially to women. The bottom line is... Sorry. The bottom line is... As Kisini, people are trying to call me. Whether you want to slander or say things about to see beast, the bottom line is... I didn't go out looking for Ubayete. One number two and when Obayete finally found or got me is that my sin what sin did i um oh sorry i'm reading a comment here oh to polite god was People don't get bored. I say by any is true enough, please. Sorry, man. Get me now. What sin did I commit? The fact that His Royal Highness, one of the most powerful men in the country, fished CKCBC out. I was invited, and in, instead, one gishel and a is that my sin? I bo guys, really. I didn't go and break anyone's marriage. The guy is a king. Our late king was a polygamist. And it's not to say that I wanted to be in a the next wife or in a polygamous marriage. No, guys. I was enjoying um Jolo. You ever fair to how many women out there want a Jolo with the most powerful man in the country? Huh? I was enjoying it. And it was nice. It was sweet. Now, another thing is, people think they know me better than me. Then other women were writing, or other women and men were writing, saying, Usikhe Spisi has a problem because all the powerful men she comes across with, she then turns around and plays victim. Sikhe, you are not a victim. That is what people are saying. I book, guys. Maybe some of you need a, you have a problem of understanding. I've never played victim when it comes to Ubayede. Mm -mm. I'm not a victim. The only thing I've always been fighting for was for him to clear my name, to publicly state that I am not an intruder. 
even if it wasn't publicly by him, but a statement from the royal house that said, Sikhebisi is not an intruder because I stayed in the royal palace in Ulundi. I worked remotely there, yes. My children were taken to the royal palace in Ulundi and stayed for a week there. So what type of intruder is this? So yes, I still maintain, I'm not a victim, but... I was in, subjected to the emotional abuse because you people were quick to share it and share it and share it and call me names, just like you're calling me names now, saying she's a bitch, she's a whore. Um, the, you know, all the names you can think of you're calling me. Some of you have even shared the story and saying, let's discuss for 10 marks how CBC has a problem. How can she just meet powerful people and, and she plays victim? Guys, maybe you don't know how to read or understanding is a problem. My only issue here, and the reason why I said GBVF is real, is because how many women out there are going through the most and the very partners who they expect to stand up and speak for them are silent and then their in-laws continue with a narrative that is not true. It happened to me where a narrative that was not true was being circulated about me, and I was told to keep quiet. And the reason why I was told to keep quiet is because that story broke, I think it was about two weeks before the coronation, and I had ministers, politicians, family, elders calling me, begging me to not say a thing because I wasn't supposed to ruin the coronation. I did keep quiet. I kept quiet. And I allowed you guys on social media to continue trolling me and trolling me and smearing me and smearing me and smearing me. Now, those who are saying CCSBC always meets men of power and she plays victim. Mamelan, let me educate you. Kwanele Foundation was born because, or let me say Kwanele Mfundisi was born because yes, when I was 16, I was given to the church where I was victimized, abused holistically by the church under Philip Banda. And yes, I was subsequently human trafficked or taken to Nigeria where the same modus operandi happened to me at the church of TB Joshua. And yes, we do advocate against gender-based violence and femicide against people who have been abused emotionally financially psychologically at the hands of pastors and the churches we are not against churches we are not against pastors but we are against the abuse that people are subjected to so those who are saying no this girl has a problem this girl every prominent person she comes across she has a story about no i don't blame you I don't blame you because it's either education or understanding is a problem. And you can write what you want, guys, because it shows how powerful CCSBC is. That you don't focus, you leave your problems and you're focusing on CCSBC, guys. Hmm? Imagine. Number three, what I want to clarify on record. Me, CCSBC. I do not have a negative relationship with Ubayete or King Mrs. Zulu as well it in. Me, CCSBC, I am not part of the smear campaign that is being written or narrated or driven by factions of his family that are against him. Why do I say that? The audio that um the audio that was leaked a few days ago that was doing the rounds on TikTok. When a story came out saying Sikhe CBC is an intruder at the Zulu Royal House, we begged the Royal family, we begged Bayete to say, please issue a statement to clear my, um, my name because uh, people are saying things about me that are not true so we sat with a legal advisor who who happened to be a friend to one of the legal advisors to the king
And we said, we need to clear my name because my reputation is getting ruined. People are saying all funny things about you, Sitles BC. Nini Nini, Sitles BC is dead. And when you look at the poster, the number on the poster belongs to one of the sisters or a member of the royal family. That's how deep the smear campaign was. Now, that audio was, you know when you see a doctor, doctor patient confidentiality? Yes. So that audio in the privacy of the legal advisor, who was advised by one of Bayete's legal advisors to say, please talk to him, record it and send it back to me so that when I speak to the elders, I can tell them what to do. That's what happened. The legal advisor on my side recorded it, sent it to the legal advisor who's part of Bayete's team. This was last year when October, when I was trending that I'm an intruder. So, the fraction or the section of people that are against the kingship of Obayete, Mrs. Ulugazweli team, they got hold of this audio because one of the legal advisors who happens to advise the king shared this evidence with not only the king but some of the royal members. And Dugu Dugu. Three days ago, it's on TikTok. They are saying the king wants to kill Sihle CBC. As if it's a conversation that happened this year. It did not. It's a conversation that was even cut short that happened last year, October. Because from then, Bayet and I still talk. That is why in November, December, I hosted. I hosted. His brother, his fiance, some of the family members in my home. In my home, I even hosted his brothers to some of the events I was doing as Kwanele Foundation. So, we are Shela Ngiakoma, Gumnandi, right? October, Ngi Intruder. Aibo, we beg, we speak to the legal advisor, the information is taken to the legal advisor in Durban, it is shared with the royal family, and somebody leaks it. Then they drop it this year as if things happened this year. Guys, no guys, no guys. Mm -mm. My thing is, Women sometimes are so, like women are saying, how sile, kulum shatu abantu, abafetang pulang shatu muntu min. Because, ubayete, yes, he's got a wife. Yes, unezangiza, zake. It's not like I'm the only in Tombi, maybe. You know? Because I was previewed to so many things, you know, when I was there at the royal house. And yes, the royal people know me. I'm not an intruder. So it is saddening that the newspaper comes out today. And again, people are just insulting me left, right, and center, left, right, and center. Guys, if it's going to put food on your table, continue insulting Sihlesbisi. But a case had to be opened because... All of a sudden, I'm getting random calls from people I don't know who are threatening my life because they are saying I am part of the faction that wants to bring down the king. They are saying I'm part of the faction that wants to destroy the kingship. So I wasn't going to keep quiet and not go open a case because we have seen how assassinations are happening in this country. Moreover, I'm a single mom with two kids and then the next thing I'm gunned down tomorrow God forbid, what will happen to my two children? So I had to open a case. On top of that, the very video that is circulating on TikTok, if you guys took time to go to that very TikTok account and find out who is the owner of that TikTok account, that TikTok account is owned by one of the elders, an uncle, 
of Mitsu Zulu, who is Prince Ngongo Ngongo, I think. And if you go into that TikTok account, there's absolutely nothing positive that they that they are saying about Ubayede. There's absolutely nothing positive that they're saying about Ubayede. So, what I'm saying is, there's absolutely nothing positive that they're saying about Ubayede. And so, if people are thinking, I am out for fame, or I am out to destroy the king, you are wrong. That is why I wrote Ngati. Whatever in-house fightings that are happening within the royal kingdom, can I not be involved or can I not be made a scapegoat for those infightings? Because one, the owner of the TikTok account, I've never met him. I don't know him. When I was at the royal house, I never saw him. I've never met him. It's unfortunate that he got the audio. It's unfortunate that now that they are on this huge um um campaign to smear usile that now all of a sudden um they are leaking things as if it's things of yesterday no i don't want to say i want to state on record i am not against the zulu royal household and they know that I, I still communicate Nubayete, guys. We are friends. We, we, we still communicate. We are friends, guys. And some of the things that are happening shock me as much as they shock him. Moreover, I must emphasize, I've spoken to Queen Maisela, guys. Not once. Not twice, but a couple of times. Because when I was at the royal house in Ulundi, the king himself did not hide to his wife, Queen Maisela, that I was there. Everybody knew I was there. I mean, I was even taken to Wakangela. I was taken to Richards Bay. I was taken, she knew I was there. To a point where the king wanted us, me, and Queen Maisela to work together because I run a foundation, Ikwanele Foundation. And Queen Maisela has a foundation called Kamaskolo Foundation. U King Ubayete. Utu Cholile no mautulanga no bayeta. Betu Cholile. Ya! Intimately so. Bengvugema shiti ni kel. Cholile. Cholile, are you happy? Yes, Cholile. And we're friends, we're buddies, we're best friends. But here's the thing. I've spoken to my seller because the king himself wanted me and her to, you know, I must advise her a bit in terms of her foundation, etc., etc., etc. To a point where we're supposed to meet. Yay, Buffet. So, Leo Gucci, I'm breaking another woman's home hi guys yeah and yes no zibo bokaka but no zibo says kanja because today you said you are disappointed in bayete for not standing up for you now you are friends you still talk corner ogunga shanganila no zipo listening is a skill i did state when the story came out to say i the reason why that audio was there because my family and I were begging him to say, clear my name, clear CBC's name. No, Zippo, listening is a skill. And yes, I did say I am disappointed that as Ubayete, the king of the Zulu nation, he could not stand up and make a statement and speak the truth that I am not an intruder. Because he makes speeches saying he advocates against gender-based violence and femicide. Remember, GBVE 
when you are meant when you are silenced or when you are forced to be silenced and not speak about your truth that is hurting you that is pain you know that is pain so yes i am still disappointed till today that ubayete himself did not publicly or even issue a statement from the royal house saying i no i'm i'm very disappointed uti i'm still disappointed velo uti he didn't publicly make a statement to say um usihlesibisi was not an intruder that i cannot run away from but nazas is the some journal guys sekho Happy New Year, Happy New Year. How are you? I am fine. I love you. I love you, Gi Grand. How are you? We are grand. We talk. So, if you guys go and read, go and read. Um, oh, till what did the wife know you were dating? Maybe she found out that's why they said you were intruding. Guys, please go back and listen. I told you that I had spoken to my seller. You know, we even spoke on the phone. They knew. Guys, go back and listen to the beginning of this audio. Guys, ni intruder. Guys, ma we intruder for nugu boshe because it means ungenenda when without um teto. And number two, is gozo that I was staying in Nobayete is not the gozo where Umaisela stays in, mind you. Okay, because the king has e gozo, ezi ningi. Different is e gozo. Yabo? So, Lo Uti, you want him to make a statement? Gomjolo, I man gangani. Eh, when I no lufe fe, listening is a skill. Gite, we wanted him to make a statement to say I was not an intruder. Petokito, that is all, because that thing, yoguti, bengi intruder, it ruined my name. Uli the artist so bocho la no baye da wenesi la be straightforward. Yes. He's straightforward leader. Yes, Ben Jola Nai. Whoa, gosh, guys. Woo. But anyways, so I'm just saying, Guti. So my story came out of City Press. By it, the story came out on Sunday Times, where he is disclosing the names of people that have leaked audios and have, and subsequently he's also in hiding because um they are also trying to get him off the throne or they want to assassinate him so as it is instead of people speaking things they don't know instead of um Yo guys, yes, abantune. Me na bantu abang 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 anangondo ni aplo kanje. Yes, unga zisho mamzo. Umzamo uti. Ani buga yonki video ni ego gubuza into eyo dwa. Yes, ni abonga. Ni abonga. How? Lozo tu padwa you doing this video? I'm doing this video because abanye ben anguwa zukfunda. So you are assuming is intes ni eko. So hear it from my mouth. How? Um, Uzama Uti. Guys. Anyways. Guys. Yo, guys. Anyways, guys. I was just saying, Uti. So there is a case out. Because I'm being intimidated. I don't know what wrong I did. And at the end of the day, guys, the job of a journalist is to write. Ne? Journalists can write what they want to write. They can say what they want to say. As much as bloggers write what they want to write and say what they want to say. But for me, one, that TikTok account that is circulating nonsense about Ubayete and has involved me and his wife, etc., etc., I have no business with it. Can I not be involved in it? Go to TikTok and look at that account. It belongs to a member of one of the royal families. They are a faction that is against the king. And I should not be used to be part of their pilot plan. I refuse. Number two. I have no hate for the royal family. 
I have no, <laughs> I can't read some of these, these comments, guys. Yo, guys, some of these comments are gonna make me laugh. So, I have, I have no beef. I love the Zulu family and the Zulu nation because I'm Zulu 100%. And I pray for our king's safety. Nani, pray for my safety, guys, because y'all, I'm a single mom with two kids and... It's so painful that my kids were caught up in this mix because they were also fetched by Ama Blue Lights and they were brought to the royal family and they stayed there with me. Um, Tembi Maliwa, I Kalela Pansku live, but yes, your answer is yes, Tembi Maliwa. So, anyways, guys, I am Sikha Sibisi and my voice is valid and I will never. Guys, I can't read these statements. They're too much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I'm still trying to talk about that because I'm not even going to find it. I'm not going to find it. Hey, you found it, Jay? Yeah, you took all the. Abagi ege wena sikles bisi ngoba baningi abakuluma yogota bayam halela. Hey. Usbo Atibayete will make sure nothing happens to you. Thank you. Atu K, don't read Kubega Nendaba. Ulunga Atunga Mie Gubayete Wako no no. Ha! Kaizini! Hey! I'm a guys! Eh eh, but so when is the right time to introduce to the first wife to the second wife? Please answer. Angas Chabuli Mamelan. Guys, I do. Mamelan, Mamelan, guys. Mamelan, guys, please listen. I did not age no ba kiss gaba yete iya baba komandombo how when you masalu ma komindo tenten anje mo fensu how am I? Hmm, hey bo, na yawa ba nusi tesbi swa ba nintombi wa wa shela ba komu si tesbi si and so what? Balani ba ma balani kuluma man funu kuluma text man funu text if it's going to give you sleep balani guys if it's a conical lip so balani i am sang on me now yay okay guys but on a serious note i've got nothing but love for bayete i've got nothing but love and respect for him i've got nothing but love and respect for the zulu royal family I've got nothing but love for, yeah, the Zulu family, guys. But I wasn't saying, hi, Mina, Gangena, um, Zuba, number two, no more number three, no more number four. I have to know. Uh -uh, now you know, guys, I'm going to go home, shut up, to pill, I mean, I bo. Um... <laughs> to helen Ash, sa is the circus just because you challenge them and call them out in public they want to shake you up and silence you malema was right they are all in a kalut hey upeti artistically you are killing me you are a storyteller oh guys but if i'm gonna my sister my man guys kuruman nana baba palama our palu dotingham balani guys balani oh i think i need a reality show don't you think I think I need a reality show, guys. Imagine keeping up with Sikha Sibisi. Ah, wait, Jesu! Hey! Leo, reality show, guys. Ingan Bonisa. I think I need a reality show. Broadcasters, I hope you are listening. What a chabli, look at us, it's look as a man. I bought chabli, like, yes, I want to make up and give five in Jim Fetch. Guys, broadcasters, are you listening? Keeping up with such a busy reality show so that Abantu. Yo! Utus bola my life. Ususo waeka. Sia kala sia zota man. Jaibo! Gege ba fetu. Aibo! 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 Utu obri controversy loves you eh? Obri let me tell you what. People says controversy loves me because let me tell you why. Utini, 
Hey guys, ngelu kipa banta ba 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 I am that girl, yes, who was um, abused holistically. I'm that girl. So um, I've never hidden my story. And my story, that is why Kwanele Foundation was born. So if people can't tell the difference between work and personal life, I get, you know what? And people mustn't say... Uh, Sile, you are taking your personal life and putting it out there, your dirty linen. I book, guys. I'm a journalist. 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 i but, guys, on a serious note, on a very, very, very serious note, I'm thankful for my life because the trauma and the stress I went through in 2022, guys, whew, guys, 2022, one, if you guys remember, if you follow me on the page, the trauma I went through when I was given a protection order, by my mother and my sister to never set foot at my dad's home, my, my late dad's home. Me and my children couldn't set foot because my sister was getting married to my uncle. So they were fearful that because of Kwanele Mfundisi, I might capture the wedding and say, Ay, bo, meaning my mother's brother. So we got a protection order. I spoke about it. Ne? I didn't hide. Guys, if you've never followed this page and it's your first time, go down and follow Kwanele Foundation you here. Number two, it ended in tears. Yo. It ended in tears. Ngachola no muntu. Obega koshiwe gubo. Watala guami. Watala mina pants na pezu nu. Ngamtengeli impasha from underpants to socks to yonkinto. And then it ended in tears. Lapo sengi tenya move on kona. Na telephone call good eh girl ba yaku na wenye kosi na ufuhi ni ai girl waza. Utinlo ukali la ati telilin telilin en my foot age ko onge na wamat telilin en wa ike ba ye ba ye abatanda ukuluma ila indota wenye valum lomo. Mama lan it ended in tears. Where's that guy today? I don't know. I don't even want to know. Because that guy, yo, guys, come on, I'm not going to be able to get drunk. I'm not going to be able to get drunk. I'm not going to be Where nobody knew who the hell he was until you decided to brand him. And then it ended in tears. Yo, guys, I'm going to be able to get drunk. I'm going to be able to get But anyways, long story cut short. Life went on. I had to apologize to my kids because it was the first time in six years since their father died. Six years last year. Now it's seven years, but six years last year. So the first time in six years where I introduced my kids to a man and where a man came to stay. So I had to apologize to myself, apologize to my kids. And then we had to go for counseling. And then I vowed to my kids. Hey, mm -mm. I'm not bringing a man to your house again. Gandhi, yo, why at the door? Ah. And then from there, what you want intruder? Hey! Guys, but in the intruder royal house, I owe Ellie a keep his story. Lucia Bong has told you what corner, I'm confronted, I'm bonus proof. What all these awatos or retractors are retracted. I then had to go on Facebook and speak my truth and say, 
Guys, I'm not an intruder. Hey, I'm a blogger as well. I'm a YouTube. Sit let's be see. Intruder. Sit let's be see. Scammer. Yay, guys. Ne? You look at me and you think sit let's be see strong. Hi, guys. Mommy line. Then from there, they created a fake poster that was photo edited saying, oh, sit let's be see. And her children are at a hotel and they ran away without uh, paying. Blah, 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 blah. When our legal team checked, 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 everything was, was photo edited. I was like, God. Then the worst, what issue we post that with CSBC is dead. Uh, she's dead to CSBC because, and her funeral, um, yini, funeral memorial service will be at the Standard Bank Arena. And then when we researched and found the number on the poster, it was a number of one of the royal family members. Guys! Ah! Oh! And then, this is all in 2022, ne? And then from there, uh, I, I, I came face to face with one of my rapists. Yes. Utim Tibiela. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm naming him because he went to the press. Because that's when I learned that these men in suits, they want to play victim. He went to the press. What mean? I'm trying to extort money from him. And I responded on this page. Nothing extort Tim Tibiela. You raped not only me, but a lot of us when we were at synagogue at T.B. Joshua's church because you were one of T.B. Joshua's right-hand people. Eh? And then all of a sudden, he went under the radar. Because that's the thing. You will not come for me and think I will shut up. As I will come to you with files and receipts. And I was like, Guys, I'm 37. I'm turning 38 this month. And this Tim Tibiela character, because I, I bumped into him face to face with him and he got scared and he thought I'm going to talk about him. And yet I had never mentioned the names of my rapists except um, those pastors that I spoke about. But he was part of the clan. So he ran to the media and said, this is trying to extort what, what, what. But hey, come to Zela, let me pen. And I still spoke on this platform publicly. Then he went underground with a tool. So one thing about me, Sikha when there's a story trending about me, you must expect I'm going to go live and I'm going to answer on it because, yay, I'm tired of journalists phoning me saying, asking me the same question, the same question. Find your answers on my live page on Kwanele Foundation so that you do not misquote me. Don't misquote me. And then 2023, November, December, I hosted some of the Zulu people in my home, people from the royal family. Kwam, guys, Kwami. Kwami. And I'm thinking now, now the media must write to go to Sikhle Sibis with Kelly Brainstein. I'm like, what the fuck, guys? Am I not safe now? Now I'm not safe. I want to know where I stay. What the f -ing? Anyways, I hosted them. Kwami. Uh, had a nice time. And then December, I was home. I was fine. And I remember my kids. You know, I've got the best kids in the world. Because when the intruder story came out, my son was like, ah, mommy. We don't enter here because we were there. We know it's a lie. My kids are very strong. December went past. Then January, um, schools opened and my body gave up on me. Like literally, my body gave up on me. One day I woke up in the morning. Uh, 2022, not 2023. Anytime I'm explaining what I went through in 2022, my say, Hey guys, listen to understand, not just to comment. So that was 2022. December ended. Then it was January 2023. 2023, kids went back to school. And then one morning I woke up on the 15th of January. I tried to brush my teeth in the morning. And then I drank water. When I tried to goggle, the water just spewed out. I thought I no. I washed my face. I bathed. I made cereal. I tried to eat. When I tried to eat, automatically... The food was just coming out. The next thing, I started having a teary eye. The next thing, I started coming out snots. And I thought, what is going on with me? The next thing, I started feeling numb. So immediately, I got into the car. I drove straight to the nearest hospital. When I got to the hospital, um, when I got to the hospital, as I walked in, the casualty doctor just looked at me. And apparently, my eyes were no longer in alignment they were skewed now they were like one was up one was down immediately i was taken in they took me in for a cat scan and immediately they did test and they were like she's got bell palsy bell palsy what is bell palsy 
And they're like, no, it's, it's, it's usually uh, caused by severe stress and the overthinking of the brain, da, 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 da. but you need to take steroids and you need to be hospitalized. I was in hospital for a week, guys. It was the one of the scariest weeks of my life because um, I couldn't talk. I couldn't see properly. My nose was dripping. I was just a mess. My face was crooked. And daily, I was on heavy steroids. My family, yo, guys, yo, the CBC family, my brothers, my sisters, Yo, guys, my aunts, my guys, guys, my family was, was there 100%. My family was just there 100%. I want to thank my, 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 my children's school that were there 100%. And then afterwards, um, I took heavy steroids, guys. I was always out of it. That's why people were always sending in boxes, but Cicely doesn't do live videos anymore, but I couldn't because my face was, you know, and then I started doing physio, like they were doing physio on my face. I had physio being done on my face. I wasn't allowed to drive. I was just so weak. I had physio being done, taking steroids. Then I had to take, and then I went, and then I was discharged after a week. I had to go home, but even going home every day, I had to go to the hospital for physio and I was still taking steroids. I was not okay. And then Everything they said it was the nervous system. The whole nervous system has completely collapsed. It was a viral infection of the facial nerves. And then I took medication and um, I'm better now. That's why I'm able to go live. But those who know me, when you see me face to face, you'll still see that um, something is not 100%. So like when I'm outside in the wind, one of my eyes just still cries. And when I started trending, because I knew that I was going to be out of the newspapers because already, you know, journalists will phone you during the week. And um, I posted a video of when I was preaching in Limpopo last year. And when I started trending, I phoned the, the doctors and the psychologists. I said, look, this is what's happening. And apparently, blah, 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 blah. And the doctor said, you cannot afford to stress because you might relapse. And when you relapse near Bell Palsy, you might never recover from it. Now, if you don't know what Bell Palsy is, please Google it. It's spelled B-E-L-P-A-L-S-Y. So that is why I've decided to turn this lemon into lemonade and say, I will not stress. I've reported to the law. I've reported to the police that there's a hit on my name and they will investigate it. I publicly told everybody you guys are listening and you're hearing me that there's a hit on my name. And should anything happen to me, should I wake up dead? Or well, well, if I'm dead, I can't wake up. But should anything happen? We don't know who it might be because, guys, some people don't read to understand. Some people just see a headline, then they think, ah, this girl, she's after the king. This girl's destroying our king without taking time to understand what's happening so maybe anybody can just come and just assassinate me i don't know but i've been through a lot and my body had to give up but in all of that i want to thank the guanile foundation team because even though i wasn't going live this year they were constantly availing themselves making sure that work is done i think the first court appearance i went to this year was for flavio and i think it was last week and i thought let me go you know and i went but other than that guys those who hate me thank you those who see nothing good in me thank you those who are calling me home rubbish trash whatever Thank you. Those who are writing things they know no understanding about because I'm seeing posts of people who are saying, um, um, I'm seeing posts of people, I'm sorry, people are just calling me. I'm seeing posts of people who are saying, blah, blah. I've explained in the beginning, guys, but those who are speaking without understanding, thank you. 
But I think the Guanele Foundation team also that is very fast in blocking, deleting and blocking nonsense posts because we will not allow nonsense people who will write nonsense things on this post. And we will not allow this to cloud the work of Guanele Foundation. We will never be silenced, guys. If you think I'm controversial, guys, try and work in Guanele Foundation for a day. Try and... Do the work we do and see if the media won't follow you around and see if smear campaigns won't come up about you. But guys, you know, I was just so flippant tired. And those who are saying they want to talk to me, they want to meet me. Sorry, guys, I'm not meeting and talking to people I don't know because I don't know if maybe you're sent. And those who have spiritual prophecies for me, guys, you can send an email to Guanilla Foundation. You don't need to have my phone number. You don't need to no, guys, please. I need my space. I need, I'm just recovered from Bell Palsy. So to all those who hate me, thank you. Because at least I know where I stand with you. You understand? Sometimes because a person that doesn't like you, a person that hates you, a person that speaks ill about you and they publicly do so, you know exactly where you stand with them. And I want to say thank you because from the hate and the negativity that you're bringing my way, you don't know that you are, fertilize, you are a fertilizer into the soil. Something else is about to birth and go bigger from this. And to all those who stood by me, my children, my family, my Facebook or social media family, thank you, Giabonga, that... Through I mean, one thing I've learned, or one thing that 2022, year 2022 taught me, if you're going to live by the praises of people, you will die by their criticisms. Because one minute I was the intruder, the next minute when I was at the presidential summit, everybody loved Sihle. Sihle is the, is the best. Sihle speaks truth to power. Look what's happening now. Sihle is a bitch. Sihle is a whore. Ava is fair. Ava unong kroy. Eyi, ave, ayi, lento, lento. Why? Because nga shelwa inkosi nga koma. Eyi! Nga koma ba fetu. Ayu koma logo guti yanya vuma. Nga koma. Kwa ba internet, kwa ba internet, kwa ba deep, kwa ba mnandi. And so, again, hey guys so again finally I have nothing against my Zulu family I love the Zulu family to air is human forgiveness divine and yes I'm still disappointed that till today they have failed to stand up and say no, we made a mistake. She wasn't an intruder. But hey. Hi, guys. It's a hard pillow to swallow. And remember, sometimes you need to learn an you need to learn to accept an apology that you may never receive for your own mental state of mind. Hey guys, yes, guys. Utilona, okay, guapa mnandi, usikipela nizindabazanga sesa ntombo, mamela la ntombo. If you're listening from the beginning, it's public knowledge, it's out there. So this is my platform to respond. Maunga tandi zikipe wene indabinza. Puma ntombo. Puma njemamba, tupumu ikipe. You know, why must people want to own my story? Why must people want to own my narrative? Where they think they can talk about me and it's their truth. And then man respond. I mean, Aktiwa Why in Kuluma? Guys, anyways, in closing, finally, comment. I have no beef with the royal family. I love the Zulu royal family. I have no beef, no bayete. I love Ubayete and I respect him dearly. And Finally, I have not affiliated to that TikTok page 
of that Prince Ngongongongo. I don't know him. I've never met him. Yabo? I've never met him. Angimazi. I've got no affiliation to him. So if they're using his in door to want to pull me in, no. But take time to go to the TikTok account and see what there's nothing good that is ever being said about to buy it there. That is all. Aibo. Tutandi wengege pela sipe o keza nga ako. Aibo mina nkeza uvo vase. Keza ngintipe green sunlight. And then man kata ngobo vase lina. Au. Sakiyo atika waze wa mutle. Senge abona lento. E abona ubayeta. Guys, guys. Bayeta is a very nice man. He's a very nice man. At the end of the day, he's human. He's the king. Long live the king. But at the end of the day, he's human. So nani buyan nga nene guys. We can't cry over spilled milk. It's out there. It's in the public. And. Utufaitu koma kwa mnu koma kwa kwa agufani. E hol ba yete. Yay. Ngobu si lesbisi. Guys can I. Can I. Guys, my man, sit down, be so quiet. Look at my manager because hi, boy, pillow, we pillow sending me verses. Love you too. Ah, guys, my man, can I stop reading these comments because I've been even wow, like how many con? Hi, boy, guys, my man, can I stop reading these comments? Oxala yongi anitanda. No, okay, guys. That's all I have to say, guys. Kwapela tu. Kwapela. Abo. Utu nox. Manja ayu awan tunkulu in waiting. Aibo nox. Ankabangi. Woo. Ankabangi. Mfetu. Inyana mbo nundi tunkulu kulma kanje. Okuma kul kanje. Kazamina. Ankazamina. In the history. Of on tunkulu. Have you ever seen him? I don't think I'd, I'd, I'd fit, guys. And guys, I'm going to go to the meeting. Where is that? 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 Now we see Sibane Sibin, the footung booze which is taller and Janice being this near footer eight learnings of child. No, we let up everything be safe. Thank you. Nox, yes, and Yagutanda get tender. Nami Tandy, what to get tender is being the sarco. You over fate too. Hey, sometimes Yaka Langi Kalinget, I ever so wet. Just so, just so, guys. Got the man a shoot reality show, ne? Mm. Mm. Shoot reality show. Rolling with Sifis BC. Guapo, Vungani. I go, guys, Ninga, Linda, and I miss a bow, Vuniti. The Safon of Bona, I said, would lend about Sifis BC, some Lido. Oi, Bacela, you ate a shell, Ugo, Tigatigate. Skip on, I. Mamba vela pina mina ngusha se. Nyaz basa la ngitu isho eleba fetu. Ene futi neka ya bati. O la so spindi. O spisi. Bati. O tandai. O ya e tepulele. Kwa ta shiye la bali. Guys. Kwa ta again. Manfunu pala nkulmi zinte pe tayo ngami. If it's gonna put food on your tables, guys, nina yegi kubegan. Angfuni nilambe ngayam, please nga nitela. Kubegani! Angfuni to die of hunger because it has been so turning up and nga kulu mingaye. Please. Kwa sbi isma class povunga niebo. Reality show. La le la buipido. La le la! Reality show. La yo! Mamek manga banele reality show, guys, ne? I must make campaigners of one because I've been busy about things of NKPs. Bye bye, guys. I love you.
But in the inconcota emoto, a hamba, not a mean lay. How sitting in the ha ha, but in the inja, I'm fair to. We tend to exit in the inja. Ah, so let's be so inja. We inja ha ha ha. Guys, my bye. A bye, turning cut in, and money, bonnet, got training, cut in, but fair to a boy. A banging as a woody, ain't fair to. I'm camping cream and nanny for the last time. Besides, when the lama video, and it was a little spicy, was a powerful woman. She was not afraid to speak her truth. I'm slamming Kulma Nani for the last time. Give people their flowers while they live. Giantanda. No, King. Emma Kaya. Kalama Chenal is angry for me. Mau funama answer my boy. Kwele wina ngsha. Guys, whatever else comes out after this. Ngsha ngene, guys. Sasa yini Monday. Monday is just a benza, guys. Kwanile Foundations. We fight it GBVF, guys. You know, shedding is bonny sea, boons and young guys. Sometimes I have man's awake or I'm a tongue a fishy. Yo, guys, until 2024, vote any right, guys. Yo, until I vote in right 2024. That's why maybe Buffalo won't last a lot of time. I'm guys. So, what do you want to know? And a load shedding, no guessy, load shedding day one a man, see. Crime is on a high. People are getting killed left, right, and center, guys. When you pray, I'm turning tandazeleni. I'm in your tandazela. Tandazeli in Ganza, I'm buffet. You're born on it. I'm going to sing shell. Buffet, I'm going to tell you. 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 I'm going to tell you